so once like you've got the information that you need so once you've sort of immersed yourself in your learner's environment and you've done the interviews and you have that understanding just having a session with your project team and also some of the target audience i think it's really important to have them there and i found that really interesting so rather than you designing it for them sort of doing a collaboration thing where yeah. you have them there with you and you're designing it together so you know it's going to work like it's going to be the right solution yeah so Do yeah i there think any examples of like activities that you came up with or heard about for that um so i think like the main thing was bringing your project team into a room together with yeah. the um target all some of the users um, having sticky notes and just writing out all the insights you've had. So there might be like, even if it's like quotes, so that if a user said a certain quote that really resonated with you, you could write that out. Yeah. Different themes um, might be barriers to um, what they're trying to learn or it could be something that's helpful for them. Yeah. And having like categories, so you could have categories up on the wall and sort of sticking those sticky notes up against those categories. Yeah, because then you end up with basically a whole wall that shows you exactly who your user is. Yeah, and if you've got the they're in the room, they can say, "Oh, that's not quite right," or it should be more like this, and you can really get that really accurate picture of what who they are and what their day looks like. Um, I thought that was really interesting and useful, and I think yeah, that would be like a really important thing to do at the beginning of projects. Yeah, I really like that, and I think also like we're obviously big fans of Kathy Moore and her action mapping she's and, awesome <laughs> yeah. um but you know how she's always like get get the learners in there get them into yeah. the room so that you can actually learn from their perspective because even recently with an action mapping workshop we did with a client you know they're like oh it's social media we need people to use social media properly and they've got like freaking so much paperwork and policy yeah. and they're like this is what it needs to be and it was interesting because we had SMEs in the room and then we had just like staff from different levels of hierarchy and different roles around the business so outside indoor workers and when we got into like what does it actually look like day-to-day -day actions and behaviors and then even down to like when we got into the activities and them creating the activities it was so detached from like you their policies and procedures didn't allow you to actually learn based on the activities that they felt they would inter like would happen daily so for example yeah, yeah. it didn't have anything like one of the things is don't take a photo with you in your uniform because the uniform is quite distinguishable yeah and um, yeah. or don't have it like your facebook profile saying um i work at this place because it can be traced back and it was just really simple innocent things that people might do but you don't realize the repercussion and so one of them might yeah. be i don't know you take a photo of an accident on the way to work and you like just post it to your facebook because you might want to say i don't know like avoid this road because like the traffic's backed up and you think you're doing the community and your friends yeah. a favor but that link between what actually happens on the day to all the policies and stuff like is really interesting. So it was so good to have the actual end users in the room to give that perspective and also push back on those subject matter experts to really go, this is what it looks like in reality. It's all really nice yeah. to say, yeah, you've got the policies and procedures, which are great, but like in the moment and this whole disconnect that's going on. So I don't know. I think that's really cool that, you know, you get to have those people and yeah. think that the solutions are way more effective. 